In, diesem Video In this video, I will show you how you can easily simulate pipe networks using the additional FlowNet library of Simit Simulation Framework. A model of the pipe network is created in Simit simply by adding FlowNet components, which you can use to simulate the thermodynamic processes in pipe networks in a way which is physically plausible. The focus is on simulating homogeneous media and single material systems for example, in a cold commissioning process. The FlowNet library provides components that can simulate the thermodynamic behavior of ideal gases, liquids, water and vapor. For example, you can drag and drop the FlowNet water tank component onto a diagram and link the connections either by superimposing them on one another or by creating a connecting line. The connections of FlowNet components are represented by circles and can only be linked with FlowNet components of the same connection type. Once the connections have been linked, they are faded out. I can define additional connections in the tank component by increasing the number of stops value in the components properties window. In the same window, I can set the component's parameters such as volume and height. By pressing and holding the ALT key, you can move the new connection anywhere on the basic symbol. In order to create a flow network, I drag the pump and valve components from the general subgroup in the FlowNet library onto my diagram. Then I define their parameters in the properties window. Using pipe measuring points and measurement displays, you can measure the physical values in the flow network, such as flow, pressure and temperature. You can then process these values in the simulation model or link them directly with the control and feedback signals in the automation system. Finally, I drag the P-node liquid component onto the diagram in order to define the initial pressure and temperature of the flow network because a flow network must always be closed, so that the special SIMIT solution process can function. Immediately after this, I can start the simulation and monitor the thermodynamic processes in the simulation model. In addition, you can expand the existing flow net components or create your own using the component type editor. For example, I have developed a model of a stirred tank reactor consisting of a container with a jacket and an agitator. Representing thermodynamic processes in pipe systems, realistically with the FlowNet library for virtual commissioning. Fast, flexible and easy.